C-pillar here uses an airplane tail fin as a motif, which really makes it look like nothing else in its class. And look at this round the back here. The rear lights are stretched across the entire width of the tailgate. And in there, there are the indicators, the brake lights, the reverse lights, and of course, the tail lights, all made up of 14 separate vertical units with a slim line wraparound element in the corner there. Very precise. Under the tail lamps is this lower bumper that has a rubber coated skid plate, which echoes the one used at the front and is designed to add to the sense of toughness and stability. And as you'd expect with any classy concept, you've got these five large double spoke alloys, plus this sporty body styling, which really helps to enhance the double edged wheel arches. All of this comes together to give it a solid yet imposing style. Inside, designers have been working hard to give the cabin a theme that combines Japanese craftsmanship with easy to use functionality. There's no clutter or oddly placed buttons. All the controls and switch gear have a place that has been carefully thought out and is there for a reason. And as you'd expect, there's some neat tech in here too, like the centrally located instrument cluster, which provides you with the usual technical data and energy flow. It's all very futuristic, but as well as that, it's connected which means not only will it tell you the way home, but it will tell you the road and weather conditions too. Also, have a look at these slim wing mirrors. There's no glass inside. They actually house two small cameras that project a rear view image onto a monitor in front of the driver. And that's not it. At the bottom of the windscreen, in front of the driver, is a head-up display system that shows information on the vehicle speed and sat-down instructions. So, on to the business of power and performance. As already mentioned, this concept car is a plug-in hybrid, but it uses a more modern version of the plug-in hybrid technology found in the Outlander PHEV on sale now. It has a 25 kilowatt per hour high energy density next generation high capacity battery package that is stored under the floor. This works in conjunction with a 2.5 litre petrol engine. In electric only mode, it will do 120 kilometres or an impressive 1,200 kilometres when working in conjunction with the engine. That's around 720 miles, all with emissions of just 26 grams per kilometre of CO2. Wow! All that in a true four-wheel drive car. Sounds pretty impressive, huh? In fact, it incorporates Mitsubishi's super all-wheel control system, which comprises of an active front differential, controlling torque split between the front wheels. While at the rear, active yaw control and active stability control will offer dramatic improvements to the way it accelerates corners and brakes. Unfortunately, the GT concept remains just a concept for now, but it does show the direction Mitsubishi is taking with its styling and technology in its next generation car.